What's up everyone, Parv here and it's great to be back. For everyone that missed out on the info, LOL Recorder had a bug which prevented us from making our episodes and I'll explain more at the end of this video, but good news is we're back and in business. Coming in at number 5, we have a familiar face amongst the higher elo players with Burbs playing on Nunu. Right off the bat, Corky gets dazzled so he turns around and slows down Tarek to scare them away. Deciding to take a huge risk, he separates from the enemy team and runs into the brush. Plagued with temptation, the enemy team gets too close, and Nunu's ult is started as Corky goes in, guns blazing, and then his ult goes off, followed by an E to pick up the impressive triple kill, Empire style. At number 4 is I Falcon XD on Twisted Fate, and we start this off right into the heart of the battle as Ash goes down, and he throws out his gold card, allowing him to pick up the kill on Warwick. He then immediately starts to retreat back as Ezreal chases him into the brush and he turns to toss out another Q, picking up the blind double off Kale. He runs back again, avoiding Ezreal's Q and W, and then turns for a third and final wild cards, picking up the triple and right after the quadra kill from Ezreal. Scoring in at third place is Fakrebo on Malphite, and he's currently headed towards the teamfight of Baron, leading in with an ultimate on two enemy players, allowing him to easily pick up the double kill as he turns and smite steals Baron right after. As the enemy players try and escape through the wall, he leaves Blitzcrank to his demise and flashes through to pursue Nocturne and Bane, capitalizing with another two kills for the grand total of a quadra kill with Baron. At number two, we have a very special clip submitted by Communist Puppy from the one and only Potato Monster Stream All Day event. During this ARAM, you can see that my team wasn't um doing oh so well, and it definitely wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Uh, well anyways, the enemy team had his B1-7 to seven, and then out of the blue we see a kill from Lux, followed by a wonderful Q and laser to pick up the instant quadra kill. Whoa. Oh, and drop a comment if you think Riot should make a preset custom game like all random all mid that restricts lanes, the picks, etc. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Merodin on Maokai. At the start of this play, we see that he's being chased by four enemy players with the rest of his team wiped out. As he runs, he continues to toss out as many saplings and cues as possible to wear them down, and when he gets them low enough, he decides to turn around with his ultimate down, using his W to jump to and kill Vlad. Right after his sapling grabs a double on Shivana, he turns to finish off Sivir, but she pops her spell shield and runs away, forcing him to retreat, but then he jukes around, goes back in, picking up the triple, and leaving only Lee Sin to brawl it out with. After some more kiting and waiting for cooldowns, he finishes off Lee Sin with a twisted advance and a crazy 1v4 Maokai play that truly shows off his power in the hands of a skilled player. And the long-awaited winner of player's choice is Silvio M with that timing. As the clip plays, I just wanted to throw two things at you guys. First, if you haven't heard by now, there was a bug in League of Legends recorder when the new client came out for League of Legends, which crashed replays in the middle of them and made it impossible for us to make our videos. On behalf of everyone here at the Potato Monster crew, we apologize for the absence of videos for the past two weeks. And as said before, we are excited to get back to work and make some sweet videos for you guys. The last thing I wanted to say is that if you missed our post on Facebook, we have a couple of paid job openings available for people to watch replays and help us decide where and in what show they belong. The 5-minute application can be found at potatomonster.com apply.php. Good luck to everyone who applies, and as always, have a great week, and I'll see you back here for week 56.